make sure that you get the best of everything you get the best of the afterburn effect you get the best of the non-exercise activity and you get the best of the long slow cardio from running <laughs> hazard a guess to say that if you're going to try and lose weight you're going to do a lot of cardio and that's fine if you want to do the cardio to try and lose weight just think about what's going to really work for you now there's a couple of different types of cardio that you can do to really help you maximize your results and get the fat loss that you want so first of all the first type of cardio that a lot of people like to talk about when they talk about weight loss is the high intensity interval training so that's basically working between 80 to 100% of max effort and you're typically working somewhere between 15 seconds and a minute every single time and then having a little bit of rest in between. So usually it lasts about 30 minutes. What they don't take into consideration is the potential harm that it's doing to your body in terms of recovery. So how long is it going to take you to recover from those max effort bouts? So a lot of the time you might be a little bit sore and a lot of people think, hey, you know, soreness is great and I love being sore because it's really going to help me get the results that I want. But what you don't consider is afterwards how many steps you're missing throughout the day just because you're a little bit sore, you know, you might decide not to get up and go down to that water fountain at work. Um, you might decide to just get off, you know, a little bit closer to your destination when you catch the bus when you're going to work. Um, a lot of these different things can play their um, effect into whether you're actually going to burn those calories. So you might have that afterburn effect, but you also might cut down on any extra activity that you may do on that day. So you might want to consider that when you think about doing high intensity interval training. The second type of training that people talk about with cardio is those long runs, those long, long, slow distance, long, I don't know, they're really long runs. Um, and a lot of the time people like to talk about that because they're like, you know what, I'm moving the whole time, my heart rate gets up, and that's what I've been told from a really young age, is that if you want to lose weight, go for a run. So run 5Ks, run 10Ks, run, you know, 3Ks. And they do that a lot. Um, but what people fail to think about with that as well is that potentially when you're doing running, you do have an interference effect with the rest of your training. So if you are lifting weights because you want that toned look, sometimes the running gets in the way of you being able to use protein to resynthesize muscle so you usually end up losing muscle instead of body fat when you do this so not an ideal thing if you are looking to lose body fat specifically all right so the third thing i want to talk about is NEAT so NEAT is non-exercise activity thermogenesis and the idea of that is basically it's exercise that's not exercise so hear me out with this so it's basically going for a walk any other things that you do during the day that's not specifically at the gym or designed to lose weight so at the moment I'm here at the beach, I walked down here, it took about half an hour. So for me, this is a little bit of non-exercise activity, thermogenesis. So when you hear people talk about 10,000 steps in a day, this is what they're talking about. They're talking about being able to get 10,000 steps accumulated from when you wake up to when you go to bed. So that doesn't necessarily mean going for a run. Uh, or even going for a structured walk but every little activity that you do during the day so those 10 steps that you take from the toilet to go back to your bedroom um, early in the morning that's a little bit of that those 10 steps that you take getting from your bed to the breakfast bar that's another little bit of walking so the more that you can get these little bursts of exercise throughout the day the better it's going to be because that's basically just going to be calories that are burnt but you're not putting your body through some stress to be able to get there so there's no interference and then there's also no recovery from it all right so that's it for cardio so think about the kind of cardio that you want to work, use and i like to use a little bit of all of them mixed in there together to make sure that you get the best of everything you get the best of the afterburn effect you get the best of the non-exercise activity and you get the best of the long slow cardio from running from doing anything like that rowing cycling all that kind of stuff so if you want to lose weight think about which one that you might want to do predominantly and then go from there